forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. All right, a dreary, dismal day out there. Yeah. yeah, not a good day, but a no. good day to stay inside, maybe catch a movie or watch some football that's going on. I was going to say, the, the perfect excuse for a lazy Sunday, that's Exactly. Sure. Who doesn't love one of those? And we've yeah. really had the whole weekend just filled with showers. Mm -hmm. We're going to go into the work week with some showers, too. And luckily it cooled off. I've been waiting yes. for the cool off, so <laughs> That's thank another you big that. thing. Yeah. You're welcome, of course. Let's talk showers first, because I think you'll be happy to see that the next few hours are finally going to be dry. It's been really hard to find a dry moment outside today. We didn't really get it until the end of the day, but we're going to be dry for the next few hours. And then we have even more showers coming to start off uh, or overnight and then going into Monday, too. So get used to the showers. We've got about uh, 20 more hours of these, and then by this time tomorrow night, we should be dry. We do have the cooler temperatures to stay, though, but we're going to be back to the 70s before you know it. Let's take a look at some highs for today. You can tell exactly where that cold front was going. We had the warmer temperatures into the 70s in the eastern portion of Michigan and then off to the west, 60s for highs, and then farther west, 50s. So really, that cold front was trekking on through, and those cooler temperatures will be coming in. We don't have any days forecasted in the 50s, but it's going to be a struggle to make it to 60 tomorrow. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of us do stick around in the 50s. Now, 53 in Lansing for our temperature right now, 54 in Jackson and 52 in Marshall, 54 in Hillsdale. These temperatures are not going to get much lower tonight because of all that cloud cover. It's going to be really hard to lose any kind of heat that we have. The clouds will trap that right in. So the showers are going to be around through the overnight. Again, we do have a couple dry hours, but we could see a pop up here there. 6 a.m. I think we'll have a good amount of showers in here in the forecast and then 51 by 9 a.m. Starting off with cloud cover, but we will see sunshine tomorrow, most likely toward the second half of the day. And that's when we're drying out as well toward evening hours of Monday. So there is an end in sight and we will have sunshine back. But for now, scattered showers are still in the forecast. The sunshine returns as early as tomorrow evening. Some of us may not see so much sunshine tomorrow evening, but we certainly will see it on Tuesday and several days after that. And we have a mild week as well, and we are making it back to the 70. Now, typically our highs are right around 64, so we'll get to temperature forecast in a moment. Today we were a little higher than that, but that changed once that cold front did go through. There's our cold front right now at 11 o'clock and the showers are going right along with it, but we have what we call wrap around showers that wrap right around that low pressure and they get sent right back into mid Michigan. So we'll see those tomorrow. Notice how they're wrapping right into mid Michigan at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, and then we'll see them continue on through the daytime hours into the afternoon. By the evening, this is 7 o'clock, look at how dry we are, and we're also starting to clear out the skies as well. So a little sunshine for the second half of the day, and we'll have a cool night for Monday night into Tuesday. Tuesday morning, starting off with sun, we've got high pressure in here, and look at that, that's going to give us a very nice day on Tuesday, and then continuing into the rest of the week. So we've got some very nice sunny days ahead, and very pleasant temperatures as well. We're at 65 on Tuesday, upper 60s on Wednesday, and then back to the 70s Thursday and Friday. And like I said, normal high this time of year, 64 degrees. So we're going to be almost 10 degrees higher than that by Thursday and Friday. So lots of mild weather still for the beginning of October. Let's hope that lasts. 54 tonight in overcast, scattered showers still ongoing. And for tomorrow, we'll see those scattered showers as well. Meet Maris. She's our 1-800 Hanson's weather kid. She's seven from St. John's. And Maris, don't forget the raincoat for tomorrow or the umbrella because you'll need it for recess if you happen to go outdoors or at least the bus stop. But once you get home, you'll likely be putting that stuff away. Tuesday through Friday looking like some gorgeous days. And then our next chance of rain holds off all the way until Saturday night into Sunday. And we've got 70s through the weekend. So really some really right. nice days ahead. Just gorgeous. Not bad. As long as the humidity breaks. Because yep. that was getting rough for That's going to stay down. So thank goodness All for right. that too. All right. But fall still looks like it'll be a ways away at least. A, a little <laughs> ways away. But this is the best part of fall because you get the pretty colors of the trees and you also get those nice mild temperatures. Just All wait right. till it starts freezing. Then everyone's going to say, where That's did right. those warm temperatures exactly. go? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> no, you're right. All right. Thanks, Laura. Yep. Appreciate it.